Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview questions for SQL PL SQL developers. So this video is continuation of index related question. So in this video, we are going to see about bitmap index related questions. So here is a list of uh, bitmap related index question. If you can able to answer to these questions, then we would be able to cover most of the concepts related to the bitmap index. Let's start with the question, what is bitmap index? So bitmap index is another type of index, stores the data in the form of bitmap array, mainly for the columns having less number of distinct values, that is for low cardinality columns. In B3 index, the index values are stored as a balanced tree format, sorted in the indexed column data along with the row ID. Whereas in bitmap index, the indexed key column information along with its bit information matrix are stored. We'll be able to understand better if you see how the index data is actually stored. So now let us see how the bitmap index is stored in the database. So here is the uh, student table contain the information about the list of student along with the result. So the result column contains P for pass and F for fail and not applicable for the students whose grade is uh, not yet uh, finalized. So this is a potential column to create the bitmap index. To create the bitmap index, we need to execute the DDL command called create bitmap index. So here bitmap is bitmap index is the create bitmap index is the keyword followed by the name of the index on followed by the table name followed by the column on which we are creating the bitmap index. The moment this particular index is created, the indexed column along with the key information. So this is the key P, F and not available. Along with the key information and the row IDs are stored as a map of bit as shown here. So whenever we query for a student with the result as a P, say for example, if I'm saying select star from student where result S yes, result is equal to P. The moment we query the table like this, Oracle fetches all the row from this particular column wherever there is a one. So it takes all these row ID from here and for these row IDs, it just go to the table and access the data. So this is how the bitmap index works. The next question is how to know whether the bitmap index is actually used by the SQL or not. Okay. So uh, obviously the explain plan will clearly say whether the index is used or not. So here in this particular query, since we are using uh, select star from student where well, s result in p comma f okay uh, since we are querying for the result p and f oracle gets the list of row ids for p and f so wherever there is a one for p and f it just takes all these row id and for all those row id it takes the it access the table data so that is the information which is there in the explain plan we can see oracle is using the bitmap index and for the result is f and p then it is doing a bitmap conversion to do to get all the row ids then it is accessing the table that is by index row id batch so this is how the bitmap index works so this is uh, one type of uh, that is like a single value uh, range uh, scam let us see one more example select count of star from student where s result equal to p so in this case the entire information uh, that is necessary to compute the, the output is available in the index part itself. In this case, Oracle doesn't even has to go to the table section. So what happens here is that Oracle computes all these things from the indexed data itself. That, that's why it is doing like fast full scan. You can see here in this explain plan, there is no table access itself. It is just computing the information from the indexed data. Okay, so avoiding the table scan itself, it is just getting all the information from the indexed data itself. Okay, now we'll see when to use the bitmap index. There are these are the three primary reasons why we uh, typically go for a bitmap index. The first one is like a column with a low cardinality value, that is, the number of distinct values should be very, very less. For example, a column with a, a gender column like a male or a female or a, a flag column which will typically have yes or no or a, a result column like either a pass or a fail or like a department id column which will have like only uh, a distinct like few departments in a company com compared to the number of records in the table the second reason second reason is uh, the table should have a very very less dml activity okay because the uh, there are some drawbacks with respect to DML activity, which we'll see with an example bit later. 
the third reason is multiple low cardinality columns are used in the var conditions so in that case oracle performs a bitmap join scan to get the list of row ids then it will do the scan operation now we'll see what is the advantage and disadvantages of bitmap index of course the advantage of bitmap index is for the performance improvement only however there this is not recommended for the applications with huge dml operations the reason is why it is not recommended for a system with a huge dml operation is whenever we do a dml operation on a bitmap indexed column then all the other rows having the same key value also will get blocked blocking the concurrent uh, sessions to do the dml operation let us understand this with a small example so now if we try to update uh, now if we try to update the uh, uh, status column for student number one okay so in this case i'm just trying to update the status column for student number one then oracle locks all the rows which has the status as p even though you are updating only one row oracle locks all the uh, record wherever the result is p so the moment it is locked other transactions will not be able to do any dml operation on all these uh, rows let us just see with a small demo now so here i have connected to uh, uh, to the same database from two different session so in the session one i've just queried like select star from student now we are able to see all the 14 record now let us update the uh, first row that is with the student number equal to one let us not commit that means now update operation has been done but it's not committed that means oracle would have locked some record so in the second session now let us try to update the uh, um, uh, student number 12 okay when you try to update the student number 12 from the second session oracle will not be able to do the this update operation because session one has actually logged all the record wherever the result is p so this is the reason other sessions will not be able to get access unless and until the first session is committed or rolled back now let me just commit or roll back this to just terminate this and transaction let me just roll back this the moment you ex execute a rollback or commit the second session now will be able to get the access and it will be able to do the dml operation so this is the this is the reason why the bitmap indexes are not recommended for the application with high dml operations if you want any questions to be answered you can just drop in the comment section or you can send to this mail id if you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos, interview questions, concept videos, tips and tricks, SQL practice question. Thanks a lot for watching this video.